Off the coast of Brazil is an island so dangerous that the Brazilian Navy has expressly forbidden anyone from landing there. And you should definitely listen to them. Locals love to recount two grisly stories about this island. In one, a local fisherman wants to pick some bananas. He gets out onto this island and within minutes, he's bitten by a snake. He runs back and jumps in his boat, but it's too late. As he paddles away, he passes out and is found when the boat washes up shore with him lying in a pool of his own blood. The second story is about a lighthouse keeper who lived on this island with his family. One night, they made the disastrous mistake of leaving a window open, and through that window climbed a dozen snakes. They bit everyone in the family, and they died there inside the lighthouse. You'll see a theme in these stories. That's because this island, Il Cajima de Grange, is also known as Snake Island. This small island, 93 miles off the coast of Brazil, is the highest density of poisonous snakes on the planet. Researchers estimate that there is one deadly snake for every square meter. That means you are never farther than three feet from death. The snakes are only on this island. They're an endemic species. It is part of the lancehead genus, which is responsible for over 90% of the snake bite fatalities in Brazil. And they are notorious for loving to hang out in the trees. It's not just that snakes are underfoot, they're also overhead. You are in a three-dimensional matrix of death by snake. This particular snake, this golden lancehead, is one of the most venomous snakes on the planet. The way the venom affects you is that it begins to necrotize and corrupt your flesh from the inside out. You basically start to melt. Should you get bitten, you have a maximum, and this is a absolute maximum of six hours to get somewhere and get the antidote. However, it's just as likely that you'll be dead in an hour. So like, don't plan on a sick, you're like, ah, yeah, it only takes me five hours to get to the hospital. No, you are in so much trouble. What are you doing on this island in the first place, actually? Don't go there. Unfortunately, researchers believe that the snake population on the island has decreased by as much as 50%. Originally, they were as high as five snakes per square meter, which is just like, there's just snakes. Like the island is made of snakes. And this is in large part to poachers, people who are going to the island with the express purpose of stealing these snakes because they are so unique in the world can fetch anywhere between ten and thirty thousand dollars. So despite the terror of Snake Island, the truth is with the population of golden lanceheads declining, the snakes have a lot more to fear from us than we do from them. We can just stay off the island, which we should because it's full of snakes. Subscribe here and watch more videos here.